a ba as a brand, we do not use flavorings, we do not use synthetics, we do not use dyes. Everything we do is as Mother Nature intended. We use organic, real materials, British farm-born uh, 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 flavors is what the brand is all about. And then we did something very special with the rhubarb. The rhubarb. Um, this was the, I like to call it the Victoria's Secret bottle because it has a little, you know, ribbon <laughs> on it. <laughs> This gin, and we'll talk about it a little bit later, but it has literally created the pink gin craze. It was, It is the first rhubarb gin. We've had it legally verified, and it's just a category creator. Um, everything pink you see today um, was driven by, by this, and it was meant to be a limited edition with Fortnum's. Um, launching with Fortnum's was meant to be a limited edition. Met a wonderful guy at the Speciality Fine Food Fair who was trying to sell us green gauges, oh, trying to sell us. He really loved the dry, he really loved the gin, he really loved, he had a, a farm in Lincolnshire and he just really, really wanted to, to um, give us some, some, some gear for the gin so he could, he could have a gin with his stuff in. And, um, and then he mentioned the rhubarb to Tom and I was tasting the crisps on another stand for Kios. And, you know, it's the he same rhubarb. Uh, he, he, uh, he managed the Crown Estate as well as his other farms in Lincolnshire. And on that was a portion, uh, a crop of rhubarb that was Queen Victoria's. And he tried to sell us all these other flavours for like three days. And we're like, no, not interested flavours. We've got three flavours now. Too much uh, with, with the dry gin. Um, and uh, he was persistent. He kept going. He said, I've got this three tons of royal rhubarb. And I was like, that's the story, Fraser. Um, and this is where success turns luck into genius um, because it, it, it went off like an absolute rocket. And as Tina said, it changed the category.